and welcome back to the allotment. So this year I have been awful at giving updates. As per always, I don't know why I ever think I'm going to change, but there we go. So we're just going to give you a quick run around. There's an awful lot to do. So we ended up having a new kitchen installed. Um, so like the past month, basically we've been doing nout. Uh, occasionally coming down and harvesting, but not really doing anything. So it might look a little bit messy, but you know, this is the reality of allotmenting. Sometimes your life happens. So as you can see, the sage plant has just taken over. Uh, the asparagus we need to chop down and de-weed, because that is looking hard. But to be fair, that is the worst plot of them all. There are some little strawberries, because we've got um, a special variety where we get a couple of um, croppings of strawberries. We haven't had that many as a second crop, but we never do. So, uh, all the trees. Um, not many of the trees have done anything this year. Last year we had a good amount of um, pears, but this year we just really haven't had anything. This peach tree is looking happy, which is good. This peach tree is not. This is uh, the delightful fungus that we get every... Well, actually, no, this is a different type of fungus. A uh, different type of tree disease, because you do get the ones where they cull the leaves. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Um... We have the bell pepper plants and the uh, chilli plants. The chilli plants are um, flowering. Uh, I just did pick the bell peppers, so that's why there's no bell peppers in there. The greenhouse is full of ever so slightly dead tomatoes plants. And then the um, cucumber plants, I did notice, we are getting more flowers, more crops, so we'll see how long they go for. By the way, that's how many were hidden. <laughs> As they've died back, we've realised how many cucumbers we've missed, which is excellent. The blueberry bushes are pretty much done. A lot of the blueberries have fallen off. I don't know if that's wind, weather or birds. Um, so yes, as it is. So I'll show you. That's the blueberries I've picked today. That is pretty much what's left and then we do have a marrow we have bell peppers unfortunately half of them appear to have gone slightly mouldy but i'm going to cut them in half and try and salvage what i can a couple of cucumbers and then everything in the bottom is uh tomatoes so that's good that's just weeds that's just needs decluttering and whatnot uh in here we have cabbage or cabbage to the normal person um as you can see again we've got a lot of de-weeding to do um but like i say had a new kitchen and neglected so it happens the brussels sprouts are doing very lovely we've kept them netted the entire year because every year we grow them basically the tops just go from the birds i'm sure they will eventually come and grab them but we will try and keep them netted as possible as you can see we've got brussels sprouts coming which is lovely. We've got beetroot. I'm going to be picking some of that today. The beans are all overgrown and done. So my dad tends to keep the bean pods when they're like this for next year, once they've, once they've dried out. Um, we prefer to buy new ones because you can't guarantee the variety because you don't know what it's been cross pollinated with. It's personal preference, whatever you prefer. Like I said, my dad's been doing that for years and he's never had a problem, but it's just what we prefer. We've got little um, French beans down here that are growing. I've already done a cropping of them, so they're doing quite well. Pak choy's quite happy. That one's bolted. Uh, that one's bolted. And that one's bolted. But other than that, the birds are happy. <laughs> oh, the pumpkins. They've done so well, but... I believe we we think a disease has got to the plants and it's killing them so i'm going to try and leave the pumpkins on there as long as possible so then they get orange um but we may end up having to pick them early um our potato got blight so i'll be digging that up shortly to see what we've got see if uh the potatoes in fact let me let me grab a glove let me grab a glove is that the right glove That's <laughs> I meant is that like the correct glove but actually it is the right hand glove ha 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 uh, oh god something's been uh, using that as a toilet and the same hair yay so let's see what we've got 
So it would have been a decade while we're on. Well, there's nothing on that plant. <laughs> Yay! Oh, there's a very, very tiny potato. So it's looking like the potatoes haven't got the blight themselves. Um, they just, they haven't had long enough. So we'll, we'll get what we get. Oh, there you go, there's another little potato. Tiny, tiny, tiny potato. So yeah, we're gonna see what we can get from them um, and go from there. So yeah, unfortunately we, we struggle with this every year. Oh, there you go, there's a good one. Um, well, that's a good one, better than these two piddly little ones. Um, so yeah, it's the problem we seem to have every year. The first crop in a potato is a grand. We get lovely ones, they're all fantastic. Then we're like overconfident thinking, yeah, we'll put another one in and then they get blight. So we'll leave them there for now. And uh, I will come back because that is one of my jobs today. It's dig. That is a fantastic, fantastic specimen of a, of a pumpkin. And I'm very happy with it because all I'm ever used to is tiny, tiny ones. And that is actually decent. Yes. Uh, Swede, 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 Swede has done. Amazing. Look at the Swede. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> It is fantastically amazing and they've grown and I'm so happy because it's David's favourite uh, vegetable. So, yes. Uh, we have a marrow plant that's kind of dying. I've left that marrow on there for now because the other one's slightly turning so it needs using first even though it is the small one. But uh, I will leave that on there for, for now. I do not believe we're going to get any more marrows but that's fine. Squash. Look at the beauty of the squash plants. I'm so pleased with them. I do a lovely squash soup, which I'm pretty sure I've already put my recipe up, but I love a squash soup. As you can see, they're lucky, beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. And then carrots. Um, carrots are carrots. I'll be digging some of them up for dinner. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're doing all right with them. Took a while, took about three attempts to get them to take, but we got them in the end. So what we do with our carrots um, to get them to go, so we find if we put them straight, put the seeds straight into the ground, does not work. They will not grow, does not work. Um, so what we do is we soak our carrot seeds in water. So we just get a glass, put them in water for one to two days. Um, and then we will then plant them out. We used to put them on tissue paper in a plastic box with a light spraying of water on. The problem we found with that is that the roots got stuck to the paper and then as you tried to take them off, um, yeah, they, they, you just destroy what had been grown. So yeah, we soak them in water and then when we do plant them, it's basically water every day because they do not like to get dry. That is what we have found. So, carry on around. We need to close off a lot of the pots. Dee, we can close off. Uh, that is Swiss chard. I need to pick some of that. And then backyard. The <laughs> that is that is a uh, a peach tree or a plum tree, I believe it's a peach tree. No, it's a plum tree, it's a plum tree and it's never given us fruit. Uh, we have spoken to the neighbors who have been here longer than us and they said the previous owners always got fruit off it. So we don't know what we're doing wrong. Uh, this is the eaten apple tree, which has given us nothing this year. And then the cooking apple tree, which I believe is starting to drop apples because I can see one half eaten by something. So at least the wildlife's enjoying the apples and that one's gone off. Uh, so yeah, you can see we don't have that many apples this year. But as you can see, we do have apples in the tree. They're more around the other way, actually. I've kind of come the wrong way for this. Whew. It's a bit of an Emmy and Altman, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a walk past the carrots again. So yes. Let's go down here. So you can see the majority of our apples are here. We're not going to get that many this year. We did do quite a hard prune last year though, so I'm not overly surprised. But it is what it is. You get what you get. Some years are fantastic, some years are okay, some years are awful. It's just the joy of the weather and allotment. 
but I get very excited by sweet. <laughs> this is what we've all learned today. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's pak choy as well. Most of it has bolted. We thought we'd um, planted beetroot, but whether the seeds were wrong in the packet or we picked the wrong packet, I don't know. We will never know. It's one of life's great mysteries. So yeah, that is about it at the moment. Um, so I will uh, say thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you some point soon. Bye!